prayer warriors. For any church to progress. For any church to have a revival. For any church to have signs and wonders. There must be prayer warriors behind the church. If there are no prayer warriors, the signs and waters you can't see them anywhere. We'll go through the message, you see the prophet said, talk about prayer warriors, what My they Lord. does to his ministry, and what they does to the church of the living God. My Lord, when I through their prayers, how many testimonies were wrought throughout the whole world? Through the prayer warriors, divine instructions how to pray, time to pray, and how to pray. Because demons operate at certain periods. And so for prayer warriors also to pray effectively and for people that have been prayed for for them to receive their healing there are hours demons are in operation so the hours that the demons are in operation the prayer warriors are always on their knees so when the demons are operating and the prayer warriors are also praying, it thwarts their words. When the prayer warriors of the church are praying, he stop the words of demons. He stop the words of principalities and powers. Divine instructions. When the church follows it, we spend great results. But before we go on that, we want to talk about church discipline. If you want to be part of the prayer warrior, there are certain things that need not to be found in your life. You need not to be part of certain things. Certain behaviors. Certain conducts. Because it will hinder the move. Of it God. will hinder the prayer warriors. Divine instructions. So when we talk about prayer, it's not just open, waking up and praying. Calling anybody to pray anyhow. No. There are divine instructions to follow. If we don't follow it, we can pray from morning to evening. Nothing will happen. But when we have followed that divine instructions, then we can pray like Elijah prayed. Lord, I have done this or we have done this at that command. Let it be known that you are God. And perform this miracle. And it will happen. Why? Because we have come by his divine order. He will never deny us. So it is not the hours we spend in praying. No, no. How sincere we are. How consecrated we are. And there is nothing between us. And then the prayer will be answered. The fire will come down. But when there are hindrances, so many things, no matter the prayer, nothing will happen. Jehovah God said, my hands are not shut in that I cannot say. Now that my years dead that I cannot hear. But your sins and your iniquities are separated you from me. But come and let us reason together. Though your sins be red as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. He's calling, he's calling, giving the invitation for us to come and let us reason things together. Now, Matthew chapter 
18, we start team from verse 15, starting from 15. Right quick, the, we need to make any more. Moreover, he said, if thy brother trespass against thee, me turn on. go tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If you shall hear thee, hey, thou hast gained thy brother. But, but if you will not hear thee, hey, boy, but then talk with thee another one or two more. That in the mouth of two or three witnesses, every word may be established. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let it be unto thee as a heathen man and a publican. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall burn on earth shall be burned in heaven. And whatsoever ye shall lose on earth shall be lost in heaven. This is the promise that God gave to the church. That whatsoever we shall burn here shall be burned in heaven. That is the promise. That's not change. It depends upon our condition. Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. So if the prayer warriors are walking in the light and they shall agree and ask anything, it shall be granted. Nothing shall withhold it. Nothing shall stop that prayer. So God is counting on me. He's counting on you. To take steps. To walk in the light. Let's turn to First Samuel. Samuel, First Samuel, chapter one. Thank you, Reading from verse ten. An incident that happened in the house of God. Concerning Hannah. Hannah, you. He said, and she was in bitterness of soul. That was Hannah. Hannah. Was in bitterness of yeah, soul. Yeah, man, let's, let's, let's turn to from nine first. Let's start from nine uh, for us to get the, a little background. He said, so Hannah rose up after they had eaten in Shiloh. And, and after they have eaten in Shiloh and after they have drunk, now early the priest sat upon the seat by the post of the temple of the Lord. And she was in bitterness of soul. And she prayed unto the Lord and wept sore. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou will indeed look on my affliction, of the handmaids and remember me and not forget the handmaids but thou will give unto the handmaid a man child then I will give unto I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life and there shall no razor come upon his head and it came to pass as she was continuing praying before the Lord that early mark her mouth Early the priest marked her mouth. Now Hannah, she spoke in her heart. Only her, her, her lips moved, but her voice was not heard. Therefore, Ellie thought she has been drunken. And Ellie said unto her, How long will thou be drunken? Put away that wine from thee. The priest perceived that she was drunk. But she was in bitterness. So, praying her soul before the Lord. 
making a complaint before the Lord. There is a name of Yerun Choyin. The priest came. Talk about. He said she was drunk. Get her down. That is the possession of the priest. But Hannah didn't get offended. Hannah, I mean, fool. Hannah was not disturbed. Because she has crossed the veil and I entered into the Shekinah glory. Let's listen to what he said. And early said unto her, How long would I be drunken? Put away that wine from thee. What down low, low, low? Put away thy wife from thee. And Hannah answered and said, No, my Lord. I am a woman of sorrowful heart. Sorrowful spirits. My heart is sorrowful. I have drunk another one, nor drunk drink. But have poured out my soul before the Lord. I have not drunk it. That is my complaint. The bitterness of my heart I have poured before the Lord. Though you perceive I'm drunk. But I'm not drunk. Out of the bitterness of my heart, I have poured my complaint before him. I have vowed unto him. And I continued. He said, Cut not thy hand made for a daughter of Bilia. For out of the abundance of my complaint and grief have I spoken hitherto. Don't take me to somebody who does not believe in God. Somebody who has backslided. The heart of my complaint. I have poured before the Lord. I have made it before the Lord. So please don't think I'm drinking. I'm drunk. Don't think I'm drunk. Out of the badness of my heart. My, my, my mouth is not speaking. Then Ali answered and said, Go in peace. And the Lord God of Israel grant thee the petition that thou hast asked of him. The pastor, an action, a reproach, a rabble. You approach it rightly or you don't approach it rightly. An action to an action that has been made to you. You are an action to an action. Then he said, Go in peace. The priest perceived that she was drunk. But out of the abundance of her heart, the complaints of her heart, she poured it before the Lord. In the presence of the Lord. She was accused. She don't come, she didn't come out of bitterness to reply. I don't take your your handmaid to be a daughter of Bilia. of my heart. The complaints I have before the Lord. Do we approach God that way? Are we going to be How do we approach God? 
This is Anna. Anna, ne? Who was in bitterness? They treat me in jolly. Because of what? She was a barren woman. That girl did you kill it? Hey, baby. The rabbi was making fun of her. The you are a for. It was not easy for her. She took it to God in prayer. Persistent prayer. My brother said, God wants persistent people. People that will be persistent. He said, and the church of the living God needs persistent prayers. Persistent warriors. Prayer warriors. Faithful men and women that will back the ministry. That will back the church. And if you say, I have prayer warriors. I have prayer warriors. When I'm on the mission field, they go on their field. They go on their faces. Um, fasting and praying for the ministry. He said, I depend upon this garrison. The prophet said, if I have success in the ministry, it's because of these people. He said, because as I go out, I'm faced with demons. Principalities and powers. But knowing that there are people on their faces waiting on the Lord for me, he said, I'm depending on that. He said, I don't fear. Because I have faithful men and women, boys and girls, on their faces fasting and praying for me. Building prayer warriors. Consecrated men and women. Dedicated to the cause of Christ. Eighteen. And she said. Let the handmaid find grace in their sight. So the woman went her way and did eat, and the countenance was no more sad. And they arose up in the morning early and worshiped before the Lord. And returned and came to their house in Ramah. And Elkanah knew Hannah, his wife, and the Lord remembered her. The Lord remembered her because of what? Her prayer. Reaction to an action. Building prayer warriors. Let's enter to the prophet message. Enticing spirits. So as a prayer warrior, certain things that need not to be in your life. We want characters like Hannah. Preach in Let's move on now. Remember, sir, among a lot of people, we have found where emotions and so forth. That become tattlings and by bitings. And all kinds of ungodly things. Brother, that is sophric acid in the church. It's a demon power. Spirit of men and women who got among one another and tried to push off, say. This is not right. This is that. This is not right. And that is not right. And that's If you would chase it down nine times out of ten, it is the very person making the stare that is 
not right. Amen. Amen. Nine out of ten, that person is right. God hates discord among brethren. So if you want to be part of that prayer warrior, God hates discord. Your life should not be bent in this. You will hinder the move of God. Be reverent. Be holy. Love God. Stand by Him. As long as you know your life is given with the Bible. With purity in hearts. Purity of thoughts. Love towards your brother. Try your best to uphold, to upbuild the kingdom of God. And doing those things that are right, dressing right, living right, talking right, going right places, then you can have all the emotions that you want to. And everybody will believe it. Building spiritual warriors. Jesus said, yes, we can. You are the salt of the earth. If the salt has lost its savour, it's henceforth good for nothing. But to be cast out and trod under foot of men. He said, If you are just salt alone, it is no good. But you got to have a server in it. You got to be salty. And the world will be thirsty. You get salty. They will be thirsty. Oh my. You have to be thirsty. Salty wherever you go. They know. The people know that this is a Christian. You are talking like a Christian. You are conducting yourself like a Christian. Let's turn to paragraph one for it. Paragraph. But I said, with our heads bowed, just a moment. I wonder if there's someone here this morning that will say, Brother Abraham, I'm sick and tired of this old thing. Party. And hang on along. I'm always talking about and turn around. Doing things that I shouldn't do. That I know. And it's not becoming to be a Christian. Say, I don't want to do that. God knows I don't want. You don't want to listen to that old spirit anymore. Spirit that tells people to do that. Yes. Hear it. Enticing spirits. Like a speak to the hearing to the people. You are to him. He moves people to do things. He moves people to behave. Certain things that even they have not, they have not seen, but they imagine it. What demons turn the picture to them, then they imagine. Oh, I seen it this way. Oh, I saw it this way. He has not seen anything. Demons. They are works of demons. They are works of evil spirits. When they get a hold of you, their intention is that to destroy you. But they know so long as you are saying things that are not right, God is not with you. The spirit of God does not come near you. The favor of God will never come on you. So they will do it to keep the, the blessings of God from you. So it is a contest. You have to make sure you think right, you do right. You, right. you behave yourself right, you dress right. Then the blessings of God will fall. The things of God, you love them. Oh, yes. 
So Brabra was calling and asked many that want to raise their hands if they don't want that sort of, yes, that okay. ungodly behavior, that ungodly desire. <inaudible> yes. He said, you don't want that ungodly, you don't want to so this what I'm praying. He said, if you don't want that all little old things, that <inaudible> old <inaudible> tempers, and that keep you down. He said, just surrender to God. So now he's praying in 64, 164. He said, our Heavenly Father, as we bow in that presence, now on behalf of those at the altar, he said, let that grace rest upon each one of them. I don't know about my family. I can't do it for them. They have, they've got to do it for themselves. Every one of us need to make a decision. Yeah. Okay. This is the way I want to think. Mm-hmm. This is the way I want to do things. You have a choice. Either to listen to gossip or not to listen to them. Listen to gossip. gossip. Or you don't want to listen to them. Anything at all that it is said, whether it's true or it's not true, you believe it. It's a choice. And whatever choice you choose, there is a consequence. So choose right. Well, how many is that? Choose right, my brother. How many is that? He said, Oh God, this tempter, say, I lay it down here. Lord. I will never want to pick it up. No matter what comes or go, he said, I will let it go. He said, This tongue of mine that is being busy to take side with a bunch of gossip. Lord, I'm laying it down. I never want to pick it again. He said, sanctify my tongue. Let me feel the angel coming. Like Isaiah felt the angel. But the call of fire touched his tongue. He was cleansed. And until your tongue has been cleansed, you cannot be a vessel for the master. What can never use you? Until the, the call of fire touched him. And his sins were purged. His tongue was cleansed. As I was not a vessel. But after the cleansing, he became the vessel to go now. So when our tongue, your tongue is cleansed. You don't want to talk about Things that are not right anymore. Why would say I don't? The God will not come. Lord, I want my tongue to be filled with messages from above. Lord, fill my heart. Won't you me? If your great love divine. Let it be your feet. Let it be your hands touching. I surrender all to you. I give all to you. Then you become a vessel for the master to be used. That's why Jesus said, if any man will purge himself from the things of this world, then you become a vessel. Vessel of honor for the Lord to be used. That is Paul saying it in Paul in Timothy. Timothy will learn. So now, let's turn to Galatians chapter 6. Galatians will learn. Verse 1 to 3. Which way, Pa? Can you get it? Galatians. Galata will learn. We're talking about the prayer warriors. One, two, Kakalo, and Missolio. Ah, they need to control and behave themselves. 
But listen, I'm by me, So now, as a prayer warrior, you want God to use you. You want God to be to, you to be a vessel for the master to be used. This is what Jehovah God said. Brethren, Amen. if a man be overtaken in a fort, your sister is overtaken in a fort. Your brother is overtaken in a fort. You say you are a prayer warrior. Resource such a one in the spirit of meekness. Considering thyself, lest thou also be tempted. Considering yourself, your sister is faulty. You think your brother is faulty? He said, Go and restore him in the spirit of meekness. Not where you go. Oh! Are you in the message? Ah! But do you hear? Have you been hearing the messages? Do you read at all? Ah! That person is overtaken in the fault. Restore him the spirit of makingness. Considering yourself. You are spiritual. Where mommy? And the person is down. We want like Bishi. Say restore him in the spirit of the Lord. Where like Yeah, yeah, mommy. Yeah, mommy. No, but how righteous you are. Yeah, but no, Jaw, huh? No. Daddy, it's only grace. Do you want to pay? Today that person has fallen. You don't know tomorrow. You don't know, you don't know ten years to come. Oh, let me know, Baba. You don't know your own. Oh, let me know. What Brother Branson says, Satan has set traps for everybody. Therefore, when we come to three, two, he said, bear one another's burden and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceived himself. If I think myself to be something, then before God, I'm nothing. Deceiving myself. I mean, like I humble yourself, and God will raise you. Look at the humility of Paul. Come on, Paul, 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 even is called ministers. We are contending with him. There are so many things about him. Demons were saying, These are the men of God. These are the people that show us the way of God. Demons will recognize who you are. Live right. Talk right. Act right. God will bless you. Amen. Amen. Take my life and let it be. Three, six, two. Amen, wala. One, eight, three.